Good afternoon, my name is Bobby Moser, health educator with Stanislaus County Public Health, and this is a COVID-19 update for Wednesday, January 12th. This video update will also be posted in Spanish on the Standing Emergency Espanol Facebook page. Stanislaus County has recorded nearly 40,000 cases of COVID-19. As of today, 699 people have died from COVID-19 in Stanislaus County. We send our condolences to the families who have lost loved ones. Currently, 343 people with confirmed COVID-19 are being hospitalized. 81 of those patients are requiring intensive care, which is the most since the pandemic began. Today, only two adult ICU beds are available. San Joaquin Valley Region, which includes Stanislaus County, has an overall ICU availability of 0%, as does the Southern California Region. The governor announced yesterday that the Greater Sacramento Region hospital availability has improved and that they will be coming off the regional stay home order. But unfortunately, our region is still burdened with very high numbers of hospitalizations and remains under the regional stay home order. To learn more about the regional stay home order, please visit covid19.ca.gov. This graph displays Stanislaus County's new daily cases seen in the vertical blue bars, along with our county's COVID-19 hospitalizations represented by the red line. Since the beginning of November, our county has experienced a drastic surge of cases. Over the past few weeks, we have seen a flattening of new cases, but this is expected to be from lowered numbers of people getting tested and is expected to increase again following the recent holidays. Stanislaus County has been allocated over 25,000 doses of the vaccine. Both the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccine have been distributed here in Stanislaus. Currently, the groups included in phase 1A Tier 1, 2, and 3 can receive their vaccine. Again, all three tiers within Phase A, 1A, can receive their vaccine. The groups identified in the three tiers of Phase 1A include individuals who are high risk of exposure at any healthcare setting, residents and long-term care facilities, community health workers, in-home support services, and first responders. For a complete list, please visit schsa.org slash coronavirus. If you are included in one of the groups identified in phase 1A, here's what you need to do. Your first option is going to be to ask your employer about what your options are to get vaccinated at work. If receiving your vaccine through your employer is not an option, your second option is to get vaccinated at the Public Health Community Vaccine Clinic. The vaccine clinic is located at 830 Scenic Drive in Modesto. The clinic is open and operating Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. No appointments are needed and the vaccine will be administered on a first come first serve basis. Depending on demand and wait times, it should take about an hour to receive your vaccine. Please bring a form of identification and proof of employment such as a pay stub or work ID. Again, if you are included in one of the groups identified in phase 1A, you need to first ask your employer about what your options are to receive the vaccine at work. If you cannot receive that vaccine at work, your second option is to visit the Stanislaus County Public Health Community Vaccine Clinic. The vaccine clinic is located at 830 Scenic Drive in Modesto and is operating Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. No appointments are needed and the vaccines will be administered on a first come, first serve basis. Thank you for watching today's update. Please remember to take care of yourself and your community and remember that whether you have received the vaccine or not, it is still important to stay home as much as possible wear a face covering, wash your hands often with soap and water or use a hand sanitizer, physically distance, and get tested if you have been exposed or are experiencing any symptoms of COVID-19. Thank you and take care.